Coach Albert Casper just got hired as the new head coach at North Texas. He faces a great challenge as the NCAA has realigned the Big 12 to an all-Texas conference. And we are easily the worst team in this conference, so Coach Casper has his work cut out for him in a big, big way. For Coach Casper, he is striving to go undefeated against our new conference and win a national championship. But for his first game as head coach, he stays home at a Pogey Stadium, which kind of sounds like a Native American drop. I like it. Before half with around 10 seconds left, Air Force drops back. They got all the time to throw as they loft it towards the end. So pick it, pick it. Dang it, man. Needed Mr. Fantastic or Slender Man there. May have had it. Now down three in the fourth quarter with just 36 seconds left. Austin Ani, the 29-year-old man, delivers a strike to Oscar Attaway. He swerves inside and has a lane. And it looks like this will be a touchdown and will get the lead. The Air Force quarterback sits in the pocket now and heaves it towards the sideline. And we intercept it. Let's go. This is a good first win for Coach Casper in his first season. Yeah, back to reality. We're now two and five and it ain't looking too pretty. We barely beat West Michigan by three, but lost some close-ish games to some very, very good teams before we head to a Pogey Stadium again. Love the name. And play Baylor at home. This would be a great win. It would help us impress visiting recruits for Coach Casper's first season. We're down seven in the third quarter trying to get a stop to stay in this game as Blake Shapin fakes it to the running back. And I have no clue what just happened to SMH my head. Man, that's going to be a touchdown. Rubber ducky, dude. Shoot. We lost 24 to 17 to drop it two and five. And we're winless in our conference, which let's be honest, isn't a surprise to anyone. We blow chunks. Really turn it around a little bit and finish five and seven. Got murdered by Texas, but beat Rice, UTEP, and UTSA. Sucks we didn't make a bowl game, but we did win more games than I expected, so that's happiness. Barely had anyone graduate. The Mean Green is super young, so lots to look forward to in the future. Looks like Coach Casper was able to bring in a transfer from Tulane, who will more than likely start at safety after seeing a year. And in Coach Casper's first signing class, it's very small but feisty like Rey Mysterio. Didn't sign too many guys because we had a lot coming back, but Adam Tompkins and Roger Young are going to be dudes for us down the line. There's no doubt about it. The class finished 64th in the country, which isn't too bad for Coach Casper's first year. For year two, the team is certainly way better. Austin Ani is now 30 years old and has probably has a kill on the team, so I'm excited to see how much better we can do this season. We jumped out to a 4-1 start to the season after smacking SMU around, which I didn't expect, but we did lose in overtime to Houston, which sucks. But now we have a huge conference home game against number 5 ranked Texas a with a huge chance for Coach Casper to get a program-defining win. We have to settle for 3 points, which blows, but we do take a 6-point lead heading into half. With less than 2 minutes left, we're up 7 and Haynes King drops back and he has forever to throw and launch it downfield and the coverage is intercepted! Let's go! We're gonna beat a top 5 team at home. The 30 year old grandpa balled out to help us pull off the 21 to 14 upset over the Aggies. After that big win, we had four kids commit on the visit, which is huge for some momentum for the mean green football program. We're now sitting at seven and two. I think it's safe to say we're drastically outperforming the expectations for the season as we beat Arkansas State and Texas Tech, but we fell short on the road to Baylor. And now we have another humongous game at home against the Texas Longhorns. It's tied up before half and Quinn Ewers drops back and sits and corks a pass to an open receiver to get a 14-7 lead over us at half. Man, shoot. We're down 10 now and we need seven here if we have any chances austin rolls to his right and looks downfield lofting in the air and yikes that's no bueno that's an interception the dream is officially dead as we lose to texas 24 to 14 at home we finished nine and three and won the rest of our games beating rice and tcu on the road to finish the season yay that's exciting a, Val a valero alamo bowl i don't i think that's how you say it valero maybe against the washington huskins this should be a fun game right before half austin's trying to get the offense seven he rolls to his right looking downfield and ends up taking off for the end zone he has plenty of space he's got some speed and that's going to be a touchdown to get a 14 to 10 lead at the half over washington late in the fourth quarter we have a chance for the win here as austin drops back and throws a seam immediately and a kangaroo jumps off and picks it man dang it we lose the alamo bowl 32 28 but we still had a season well above expectations for year two the grandpa has finally graduated we lose some solid starters to graduation but the team next year will be even better this team is mostly full of juniors and sophomores so year three will hopefully be awesomeness speaking of better this is a way better recruiting class for coach casper that texas a&m win was a huge selling point on the recruiting trail bringing in plenty of high overall recruits like mike massey and mark mcintosh at cornerback the class barely finished outside the top 25 sitting at 27 still a crazy jump because i think last year we were at 64 for it. so yeah that's a huge jump year three is upon us and as you can see this team is super old i think we have like 26 juniors and a bunch of seniors so that means this team is crazy crazy old but no player is as important as first year starter the five-star recruit adam Tompkins, who is a smaller fellow at only 175 pounds of 5'11", but is an incredible dual threat quarterback super excited for his career here we started out 4-1 on the season after starting 4-0 but we lost our previous game to texas a.m in the row which sucks but now coach casper's mean green heads to the apology or apology stadium i don't know how you pronounce it 
it, man. I'm trying my best. All right, we're playing Texas Tech. Let's go ball out. First drive of the game, Adam hands it off to Isaiah Johnson. The red seed parts, and we're going to have a ton of room. Johnson gets the edge, and he's going to score a touchdown. Jump out to a 7 0 lead for the Mean Green. Our offense couldn't be stopped this game as we won 42 to 35, and Adam Tompkins is looking like a star who has huge potential. And yeah, we may need Detective Sherlock on this one. No clue how we're 8 1 in this tough of a conference. Maybe one of our players knows witchcraft. I have no clue, but since that Texas AM game, we haven't lost a single game, and we've been scoring an insane amount of points definitely has been attributed to adam at quarterback he's been unreal the mean green now heads to a rainy or foggy i can't really tell but it looks scary in the dkr texas memorial stadium we're getting bent over early our defense is really showcasing elite players adam hands it off to akeka i like that name and the best player on our team gets the touchdown to cut the deficit to seven at half now tied up in the fourth quarter if we can get a stop here they'll punt us the ball as yours checks it down to jonathan brooks and that will not be a first down give us our ball baby near field goal range now adam sits and drops it down to oh, Akeka, yes, we're in field goal range now. Good job, Akeka. Steve, I start kicker with three seconds left. He kicks it up, though. It's looking good, and oh my gosh, this, it's gonna go in, and we're gonna beat Texas on the road to move to 9-1 on the season. We're now 10-2. We beat Rice at home, but lost on the road at TCU, which sucks, but we did win our division, so we had the Big 12 Championship in a rematch against Texas A&M. In the fourth quarter, we're tied up. Adam drives back and checks down his time to get us in the field goal range. Now the chance to kick and get revenge. McQueen kicks it up, and yeah, that bad boy's going in. Coach Casper will win his first First all Texas Conference Championship in his third season as head coach. The Shagabo against Ole Miss and Mr. Kiffin. Coach Casper's excitement and cannot wait. Before half tied up, Adam heaves it towards the end zone. And we got a three on one. And you know what? We catch it. We steal seven points right before half. Let's go, baby. With just 15 seconds left, we're tied up. And we want our stud Adam with the ball wearing that sexy number 20. He drifts to his right and looks for an open tight end. He hits him. Jake Roberts. He runs over a defender. Big boy. And he gets in the field goal range. Sleepy Lane won't ice McQueen, but it doesn't matter either way. And McQueen boots it through, and in year three, we win the Sugar Bowl and finish 12 and 2 on the season. Well, looks like Tim Lewis is transferring away. I got homesick. He's going back to mommy, but we do lose some solid players. Thankfully, we have like 26 seniors on next year's team. Easily our best signing class yet. Got 17 commits, which we need because of all those seniors graduating. Super excited about Trey Coleman and Corey Stanley, though. Both those guys look like stud muffins. And would you look at that? Coach Casper hitting the trail hard with a top 10 class, our best class up to this point. Year four, and like I said, guys, we got a bunch of old angry grandpas on this team this will be our highest overall team this year and it's not even close and adam Tompkins at quarterback will keep us in every game no matter what we parade out to a 4-0 start to the season whooping every team we've played so far before a home game against top 10 ranked texas a&m we won a really close battle against the aggies 17 to 14 now we gain control of our division 9-2 now after we lost to houston the week after we beat texas a&m maybe a little bit of hangover there i don't know but we lost to rice as well which blows but our final game of the season though we are going to be playing against tcu we're up a 11 before half and they drill a field goal to cut our lead to eight i've kicked like 20 last second field goals this video so far and here's another as mcqueen puts it through the uprights and we survive on the road against tcu to win our division in back-to-back -back seasons Ooh, spicy texas tech new team in the conference championship this should be fun in the third quarter we're up one but it's a fourth and one and of course coach casper is going for it as adam hands it off to a kike and a kike we get a touchdown way to stumble in there baby we finished with a 28 to 14 win over texas tech and won our second consecutive conference championship Adam Tompkins, the little man with a big heart, wins the highs, but safe to say he's lived up to the five-star hype. Kid's been unreal. Looks like another Sugar Bowl berth, but this time, though, we're going to be playing against Kentucky Wildcats. This game came down to the wires. It's tied 35-35, and Adam ends up rolling out to his right. He finds a wide-open receiver. He launches it for a huge gain. That's going to be a touchdown to take the lead. With two seconds left, their quarterback lofts it to the end zone, and it falls in the air forever, and we pick it off and pull out the Sugar Bowl victory over Kentucky. Status Everdeen, I knew I was going to dread this, man. 26 seniors leaving the mean green. They will all be sorely missed. Another phenomenal class for Coach Casper, though, on the bright side. We brought in like three 80-plus overall receivers, feeling like Ohio State. Another top 10 class for the mean green with three five stars, which is by far our most for Coach Casper's career. Kind of worried for year five, not going to lie. Wouldn't be shocked if we fall off a little bit this season, sadly, but we do have Adam Tompkins, though, so that's happiness. Lo and behold, we're 6-0 to start the season, although we really haven't beat anybody that great, so we shall see how it turns turns out now we face a solid Houston team at home hoping to extend our win streak to seven games we're down five with less than a minute left hoping Adam can bail us out as we try to throw down the seam in the uh oh that's not good well 
We lost, man. Sugar! 6-2, man. We lost two in a row, which blows, but I can't say I'm not surprised. We lost to a service academy, which is okay, though, because Coach Casper's a proud American citizen, so not at the end of the world. For this week, though, we do have a top 25 whole matchup against Baylor. Hopefully, we can win this game and turn it around. They're up three in overtime. All we gotta do is punch us in as Adam drops back, and he gets pressured and hits the tight end immediately for a touchdown as we win 30-27 to in overtime over Baylor for a much-needed win. Finished 9-3 behind Texas after we lost to them, but after that game, we did beat Ryan and TCU, so that's awesome. But we do get a cool bowl game against Nebraska, the Big Ten team, so that's awesome. Another overtime game is they want some triple option thingy. Pitch the running back, and yeah, that's gonna be a touchdown. That stinks, man. For the 13, Adam got hurt during the game, so our backup is in, and he has an open receiver on the middle of the field. I think that's a touchdown, and he launches the ball to Portugal, man. Dang it! We lose the bowl game to Nebraska. Sad end of the season, man. One of the three insane receivers we got last year decides to transfer away. Thankfully, though, we have tons of great receivers, though, there in depth, obviously but barely anyone is leaving us, which makes Coach Casper super-duper happy. I think Elite does a disservice to this class. We just pulled in, I mean, like, so many high 70 overalls and so many versatile chess pieces. Coach Casper loves chess. He's a brainiac. Our team is going to be set for the future. And I know it's surprised the number one class... 15 four stars, which is almost as awesome as puppies, but it's close. Year Sace, and it's our best team hands down. Really, really good, and it's Adam's senior year. I want to get him a natty before he has to leave the mean green. A great four hour start of the season. I've ever averaged like 60 points per game, murdering teams left and right, which is great to see before we play UTSA at home. This should also probably be a murder. And it was just that. 56 24, this team's looking scary good. We're now sitting at 9 0, continuing to blow teams out. No one's really been close to us this year, but that may change this week as we face our toughest test of the season home against Texas. Up 17-7, trying to put this bad boy away as Adam hands it off to Tyler Davidson. He rumbles into the end zone to take a commanding 24-7 lead. We went 24-14 over a good Texas team, really solidifying that this team is great. An undefeated regular season, absolutely love to see it for Coach Casper. In our last two games, we beat Baylor and Rice by double digits, but we're now the Big 12 title game against the Houston Cougars. Tied up in the third quarter, Adam drops back, ends up rolling to his right, he finds a receiver, throws it across his body. Woo! That was sexy for a touchdown. After that TD, we took control in 142-21, and we got Coach Casper his third Big 12 title. It's gotta be rigged, man. Adam gets second in the Heisman, which will undoubtedly add fuel to the fire. Huh. Interesting. Gonna be facing off against 93 Michigan. Hopefully we can slap him around. For this game, we kick a field goal before half to take a seven-point lead in a low-scoring affair so far. At the goal line now in the third quarter, Adam hands it off to Davidson. He wiggles his way around and ends up in the end zone to take a commanding two-touchdown lead. They score a touchdown now only up seven. Adam reads the defender and keeps it. And oh boy, oh boy, he's got a lot of room. Adam showcasing his elite speed and agility at quarterback, and he gets that first down. And we win the semifinal of the playoff over Michigan 20-17. Now we're on to the national championship. Wow. The Yellow Jackets beat the Buckeyes. Let's hope we can win and send Adam out the way he deserves. In the second quarter, Adam drops back before half and sits and finds an open tight end to take a touchdown lead into the half. The Jackets tied it up, but we have it at their goal line as our Heisman drops back and rolls to his right. He finds Bryce Griffin for a score to take a seven-point lead. They have a chance tied up as their quarterback throws it near the end zone. And it's picked off for a huge interception. Now we just got to hold on to this lead. Adam at midfield now. They have no timeouts. He does the zone read again. Beautifully, he keeps it. He has a ton of room and he swears inside in a beautiful move and I'm oh my gosh that's gonna be a touchdown and we're gonna win the national championship over Georgia Tech I still have no clue how we did so good in years two three and four but it happened all right we got that natty in year six and dominated the all Texas conference job finished for coach Casper wouldn't it be cool upgrading conferences as a crappy team gets better if you think so too click the video on the screen I think you'll love it